Bad news is that the Fed has become extremely aggressive and hawkish. The good news is that we are beginning to get data that is confirming uh, that the economy, the U.S. economy, is in recession. And, and if you've tuned in before, you, you know that we believe that, the, that Europe and China effectively have been in recession as well. So now a global recession. Uh, we're also getting a lot of indicators that uh, prices are coming down. And I think this notion that the inflation that everyone has been worried about uh, is, is quite, uh, quite a wrong way of looking at the world right now. Uh, we believe that deflation is the much bigger risk. We've been saying this for a time. Uh, uh, we've been ridiculed for saying it. Uh, and we were challenged by those who were sure that we were back into a 70s style inflation uh, scenario. Uh, we think that the, the, the pricing action, uh, and I'm not just talking about stocks and bonds, I'm talking about commodity prices, uh, crypto uh, prices, uh, and, and perhaps soon even housing prices, uh, that uh, many people will conclude the greater risk is deflation. And as you know, uh, we don't think deflation is a bad thing per se. It is a bad thing uh, the way the Fed <laughs> has approached it, we believe. Um, but deflation can be a very good thing if it is caused by technology and progress. And we think we're going to see a lot of that over the years. Uh, but right now, we're looking at bad deflation. And uh, we're, we're going to have to get through this. I think uh, the next Fed move is supposed to be at the end of this month. And uh, the Fed is out of its quiet period. So all the Fed governors have been traipsing out, saying we're going 75 basis points, another 75 basis points. Um, well, we think that they will rethink that this uh, in this month as we get uh, not only more pricing signals, but earnings reports and guidance for, for, from companies who uh, will be probably confirming that the U.S. is now in recession. So bad news, good news, uh, darkest before the dawn. Um, we called this segment uh, Finding Growth. We think growth is going to be scarce this year. And as you know, innovation is all about growth. Innovation is also about solving problems. We have a lot of problems now. A recession is going to be uh, providing another set of problems.